in this together. That's the message of a new campaign started by the governor, Governor Holcomb, Mayor Joe Hogsett, and also a coalition of business and community partners like Eli Lilly. Mayor Hogsett and Lilly Chairman and CEO David Ricks talked with me just a few hours ago and tell me why this new campaign is so important. Well, today we're launching this In This Together campaign with leaders from across the community, joined here by the Mayor Joe Hogsett, but also the Colts, the Pacers, many businesses and nonprofits, as well as the state government, because social distancing matters. You know, I, I lead the state's largest scientific uh, company and, and maybe scientific organization, and uh, social distancing is grounded in science. We know that the better we practice these everyday behaviors, which I know to, to many people may seem like small inconveniences, but they make a huge difference in the potential outcome for our state as it relates to the COVID-19 spread. Uh, we can see from states like Washington and California, the difference from New York and New Jersey, we know which curve we want to be on and we still have time to change that. Uh, so it's so important we're in this together that we think about it that way, that our actions affect others. Um, and this campaign is really meant to reinforce that. So you're saying that you see significant differences in the transmission rates from state to state. Where does Indiana list in those, in the, and then that list, and uh, how do you think we can change it? Well, I think the, the state government took action about, it, uh, it was a week ago exactly today, where that stay-at-home um, uh, order went in place. I think that's relatively early compared to other states. We're not yet, we don't have enough infections to really be on the chart yet, but we know we're at the beginning of what could be a steep curve. How steep and how high that curve is, is up to us. And, and we can flatten it based on our own behaviors. So if we look west, Washington state was the first state with large infection, relatively flat curve, and they're slowing down now. Whereas we, can, we see really the, the tragedy unfolding in some of the eastern cities, uh, we need to avoid that and do everything we can to, to do so. Mayor Hogsett, thanks for joining us. One of the things that the governor said today that really got my attention was when we're talking about the peak, he talked like we're still we're still looking straight up. Well, we, we just haven't even reached our peak yet, and we're still on this vertical climb. And yet we see this disparity in how people are following this from community to community. We see some people out playing basketball, and uh, then we see in other communities, basketball nets are being taken down. There doesn't seem to be that everyone right now in our community is playing by the same rules. What, what can you do about it? Well, it, uh, it, it really underscores the importance of this uh, public awareness campaign so that more people are uh, made aware of how critically important uh, these uh, efforts will be in helping us uh, through this time of crisis. The truth is, is that these, uh, the imposition of stay, stay at home orders and social distancing techniques, yes, they, they obviously uh, disrupt our lives. But the truth is also, as Dave uh, was mentioning, uh, the sooner we all start uh, effectively.